Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again on our lowly streak of just one. It's so depressing to see. God damn it. I can't believe we lost our streak, but we're jumping in. Do you know what we did to Eve recently? Do you know what we did? Just give me a character I want to play. <laughs> we got Lilith to uh, the Lamb. Okay. All three of these characters that we've rolled there, I'm not particularly happy with. Especially Lilith, but I haven't played Lilith in a while, so I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's just go ahead and see what we can do. Okay, this is already a pretty pretty horrible room because these enemies all move quickly and that scares me. Scares me deeply, but I am in a much, much better mood today than I was in previous days. By that, I mean on the episode I recorded yesterday, I was depressy spaghetti for whatever reason. I don't know. But anyways, today I'm feeling much better. I don't know why. I don't know what's changed, but I went to sleep and I woke up and now I'm fine. That's just life, I guess. I didn't mean to get hit there also. That was kind of a dumb hit, but it's R8. It's R8. God damn. Ooh, we got a spiked chest. Oh, it's a haunted chest. Okay. I don't know why it's come up as a spiked chest on the minimap there, but damn it. No item. I'm always praying that my mod will kick in and give me an item from one of those, but so far, not so good. Okay. This is a room that I especially do not like. Please, please die, you big oaf. Ah, you bastard. P please be a balls of steel. It's a verp, which, honestly, when you get a verp before taking any other pills, it's a pretty good time, because it means that we can basically wait until we get a good pill and then get two of it. I've got to say, I am in a very, very uncomfortable mood in this, uh, this floor here. There is a lot going on. Okay, there's also you. Which I, for some reason, can't manage to kill. Okay, so we're looking, of course, for um, for more familiars here. That's really the uh, the shtick we want with this character. I can never normally find familiars. I seem to find Seraphim a lot as this character, though. I will say that. I don't know what that's about. But that's that's always nice to see. Um, I'm going to plant a bomb here and not realize that I'm stuck. Oh, my God, that was close. I just want to open this up and see what we get. We got ourselves a foiled death card. Enemies might drop black hearts, so essentially if we save this for a room with a lot of enemies, we might be able to get quite a lot out of it, which is quite nice. But yes, as for today's question, this one's a bit kind of... Normally I, I try to stay like, ask a question that's somewhat on topic of what I'm talking about, but this one, I, this is going to start a whole new topic. What is the worst injury you've had? I, I always think that's an interesting question to ask people because... They're still here, so it can't have been too bad. <laughs> um, but it's always interesting to know. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have used the bomb there, to be honest. It's okay, it's okay. I want to see what this crawl space has to offer. What does this button do, anyways? Oh, thanks. Um, you've got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Okay, we did get GB book. That's a familiar, technically. Uh, not, not really one that we'd want, but it is a familiar. Uh, but yes, mine... Mine is... I've had, I've, had, I've had a few. I've had a few, but my most notable one is I broke my collarbone um, when I was, I think, 14? What? Can I... Shot speed. What hit me? Ooh, we're going to have a lot of shot speed here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got hit, and I don't know what by. I think maybe a troll bomb spawned directly underneath me. But anyways, yeah, when I was like 14, um, I should probably check the shop for a soul heart here. I I broke my collarbone, and if you didn't know, the collarbone is... Oh, nice. The collarbone's actually the hardest like bone in the body to break, and also the longest to heal. Um, it's, it, it's almost exclusively a sports injury, and as you can probably imagine by me being the way that I am, it was not sports related. I broke it in a really dumb way. Uh, I have think, I think I have told this also, you can go away. You ruined my streak, you fool. Um, yeah, it, it happened in like, in like a really dumb way. So... Like I said, it wasn't sports related, and I might have told this story before on my channel, but I don't remember telling it. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I I used to, when I was going to secondary school, I used to bike to my friend's house, uh, which was about halfway to school, and then walk the rest of the way with him. Um, 
And we both had bikes, but we just preferred to walk it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, dude, this is too much. This is too much. What are you doing to me? Throw a bomb at yourself, please. What's with all the orbs of darkness? Stop. I've decided that this is one of my worst bosses. He just keeps wrecking me. I've taken a lot of damage so far. Thank God we got a black eye and a damage and health upgrade here. Otherwise, I would have been big sad. Anyways, yeah. So, I used to bike to my friend's house and we'd walk from there. And I'd been doing this for about a year and a half at this point. Uh, biking to his house, putting my bike away there, and then walking the rest of the way. It's not something I hadn't done before. Um, and one day I... Ooh, that's a, that's a mighty bit saucy, but I think it's worth it. Um, and yeah, like, one day, I think I was, like, late or something. Like, I I wasn't, um, I wasn't going to make it on time. Oh, my God. I wasn't going to make it on time uh, to school. So, I, like, speed sped over to his house. And... I don't know if it, I don't really know what it was, and even the doctors don't really know what it was. Uh, I don't know if it was like lack of food or energy or what, but I, I got to his house. I got off my bike in his front garden, and I immediately fainted. <laughs> I don't know what really caused it, but yeah, I, uh, I, I fainted, and from that faint, from me fainting, I, uh, I keeled over backwards into his garden, and his garden was one of those that has like a bunch of rocks, like a just like a gravel yard sort of thing um and i went straight into that which might fell back onto it and i broke my collarbone um not the most exciting way to do it but yeah that, <laughs> that's how i did it considering they were like hey this is an injury people normally get from rugby and i was like oh uh well i did it just falling over so there uh <laughs> secret rooms here good good yeah i was like well i, I did it just falling over so yeah there's that Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, oh, I fucking rubbed my heart against the... Uh, I rubbed my heart against that... Wait a minute. I just want to say, I just realised. The spikes don't even matter to us. I'm stupid. These spikes do, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I broke my collarbone. And uh, my friend's mum came out into the garden, obviously, because I'd fainted. It was like, what the hell just happened? And I was like... I have just broken my shoulder. At the time, I thought it was my shoulder because it, it damn well felt like my shoulder. But, um, made more aware of my collarbone. Lost some fire rate there, unfortunately. Um, we are, we are looking pretty not good so far on this run, I gotta say. Um, <laughs> we can go into care rooms for free now as well. I gotta remember that. Oh, like double spiders. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, and I was like, yep, I broke my collarbone, uh, my, my shoulder, I broke my shoulder, do not touch it, do not touch it, and what does she do? She, not her fault, honestly, but she maybe should have been listening to what I was saying. She picks me up by that shoulder and carries me inside, um, which, nice gesture, but it was agony, um, and I believe I, like, kind of kind of fainted again, or at least got very close to fainting again when that happened, because the pain was quite immense. Um, and yeah, the the uh, the doctors arrived. Doctors, the ambulance arrived to take me uh, take me to the hospital and get me patched up. Luckily, on that day, I missed a, a religious education exam because of that, and I didn't have to retake it, which was very nice. Uh, golden penny here, nice. Yeah, so I was I was I was pretty psyched about that. <laughs> Managed to miss a religious ed education exam. What was weird though. Is like literally the day before this happened, me and my friend were talking about how neither of us had ever broken a bone. And then the following day, I keel over and break my collarbone. And of course, it takes a long time to heal. It took like, I don't know how long it was. It was like two months, I think, to, to maybe longer. Maybe, maybe it was about three months to fully heal. Oh, God damn, this golden pen is good. It took a long while. Um, and yeah, it was, it was not good. Uh... Of course, the thing with the collarbone is because of where it is, um, being sort of in between your shoulder and neck, you can't put a cast on it. Oh, God. Isaac's heart's going to doom us all, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can't put a cast on it or anything, so you kind of shit out a look there. Mama Mega, I'm just going to buy and use. I realize it's going to blow up on a nation machine, but I need some air. Uh, I need like a free floor here. I need some, uh, need some help. 
A little stargazer. Oh, really? You destroyed my card? Thank you, Black Rune. Had to be a Black Rune then, didn't it? Just had to be. Very depressing. I was going to use that card on a big room with a lot of enemies trying to get Black Hearts. Do you know what? Why the hell not at this point? Why the hell not? This run's already gone to shit. Oh, look at that. All that shot speed we got. Now it's gone. <laughs> In the blink of an eye, it's all gone. Oh, I did use uh, my space bar there, but didn't really need to. Okay, things are going awry. Things are going awry. But yes, while I had this uh, pretty severe injury, um, I uh, was, was, was out of commission for a little while. I wasn't able to do much for myself. Um, and yeah, I remember the healing process being extremely painful. And I remember someone at school thinking it'd be really funny, really just hilarious to pull the chair from out underneath me when I went to sit down. Um, and as you can imagine, I fell to the ground, sort of knocked back my shoulder, and it was absolute agony. And this person saw really nothing wrong whatsoever with what they'd done, despite a person that already had a major injury on the floor, basically crying in pain. Um, and they were like, haha, funny. It's like, nah, I don't really know how. I don't know how injuring someone that is already injured is in any way funny, but you do you, I guess. Cunts are going to be cunts. No. Dude, Isaac's heart was a mistake. It was a mistake. Anyways, that was, uh, that was something. I would make all those decisions again. I stand by them. Isaac's heart isn't a bad item. But the whiz shot definitely was not a good idea. The whiz shot really uh, sent us over the edge. But when it rains, it pours when it comes to losing your streak. You can't, you can't just simply lose a streak then start a new one. You've got to lose a streak and then be humiliated by another like three really, really stupid losses. And then you're good to go. This is also a horrible room. The, the Conquest Curse is, uh, is hurting us here. There's a lot of champions about. At least they're dropping stuff. At least they're dropping stuff. But yeah, Conquest on the first floor. Little bit of a little bit of a mean one. I mean, it is technically a familiar. It's not at all a good one. Um, in fact, it's one of the worst ones. But it is a familiar. Dude. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't know if it's just that I'm not in the mood for Isaac today or what, but things are not going my way in any way, shape, or form. But let's just stick with it and try and not get hit. I think it's just because Lilith is a garbage character made for garbage people. If you like Lilith, you like pain. This character sucks big booty. Oh, we got meat again. This, this character genuinely sucks big butts. I really despise Lilith. Just make her fucking familiars... Stay closer to her. Why they gotta be so damn far away? Makes her an absolute pain in the ass. Look, these fucking... Ah, these stupid stonies mean I can't fucking hit anything. I'm anger. I said I was okay at the start of this video. I lied. I'm just... I'm just in rage mode. Don't you dare steal my charges, you little... Rapscallions. Go away. I need those charges for killing things. In fact, this is a good enough room to use this in. Okay. Right. Item room, please be something good. Ooh, I will crack that open. Apple of Sodom. Do you know what? For now, for now, I'll take Apple of Sodom and I'll be quite happy with it. Obviously, if we start taking red health damage, we probably want to drop it. But until that day, until that day comes, Apple of Sodom could give us a nice little bit of extra... Something, something. Someone should make a mod that allows uh, allows enemies that currently can't be champions to be champions. Because things like dips and spiders can't be champions. And I don't really get why not. Maybe it's because they're, like, fast, but I don't know. There's other enemies that are fast that can be champions, right? I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. You again. 
Go away, you are the harbinger of death. You are the harbinger of death. You bring bad tidings to every run you appear on. You need to go away. What is it with you? Just back down. Yes, that's it, you're gone. Stop messing up my life. I will definitely take that. Do you know what? I'll take that too. Goat head. It's got some oomph to it. It's got some oomph. Right. Let's make our way over to our item room, wherever that may be. Yeah, I think Demon Baby. Kind of a necessity for us for a little bit of extra familiar damage. Which I very much like. But more importantly, Goat head. Nope, not taking it. I had that last time. I hated it. It's not a good item. I'm leaving it there. It just annoyed me. It just created red poops hecking everywhere, and I did not enjoy it. Right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skedoodle, vamoosh, vamash. And yeah, let's just uh, play into this pain. Talking about injury, this, this entire run is an injury. <laughs> uh... God damn, I love this game, but it can be cruel. It can be really cruel. Sometimes it just does not want you to succeed at all. Okay, this is definitely a room for this, especially double rooms are kind of always worth using your uh, your active because you're going to get two charges back and it's only a three room charge. Ow, how did that hit me? Because I'm slow as balls. Yeah, someone needs to make a... Well, it probably already exists. S someone needs to link me to a mod that makes this character start with Child Leash. Because I hate the fact that she doesn't. She really needs it. <laughs> she should start with a smelted Child Leash. Right, what we got in here? That's a good item. Now that is something I can get behind. And all the money as well. Okay, sinus infection's making me feel a little better. Gotta admit, a little better from the sinus infection. We're still not in the clear. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the reasons. Are we gonna die again? If we die twice in one episode, I'm just gonna quit Isaac forever. That's a horse pill. Why? Why? Was there... Was there any need? Was there any need for that game? Oh, good. We got hit. Oh, shit. We need to drop an apple of Sodom. I forgot. Oh, my lord. This character can go suck a fart. Just die! I've got such low tears, please! I, feel I don't even have any... God, I don't even have any keys to get into the shop. The depression that I feel right now is immense. My god. I'm just in focus mode now. Commentary's gone out the window. I'm gonna stop trying to entertain and start trying to live. Oh god. The fuck is this room? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I might die in this room. Okay, that, that was okay. Please give me like half a heart from one of these. I just need something to keep me alive. God, this fire rate. A horse pill tears down. 
Really, game? A horse pill tears down. You you really know how to treat a woman, don't you? God damn. Are you kidding me? I'm so dead. This boss can suck a butt. I mean, I might be okay if, uh, if my uh, bugger tears can get him, which I think they can. That was a rude room, though. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered entering this room. I'm kind of glad I did, because there was health in here, but... I've got to, I've got to hedge my bets for this. Did I accidentally open it twice in a row? I think I did, didn't I? Okay, give me nothing. Oh, lordy lord. Life is unfair. It is a cruel mistress. I don't like any of these rooms. These rooms bother me. I can't fucking move. Fuck you. I got I managed to bomb one of them. Congratulations. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. I want to die. These are the worst rooms <laughs> you could imagine. Just go away. It gave me two bombs. It 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 heckin gave me two bombs. That tinted rock just gave me two bombs. Are you kidding? Oh goddamn. You need to heck the heck off as well. Get bugger to you, please. Right, a key is good. A key is good. Glad we got this room. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This room isn't completely unfair. I need health. I need health. Damn it. Right. More health. That is technically health. Okay. I don't know how, but those dudes just saved our ass. <laughs> those dudes just saved our ass big time. I'm still depressed about our tier rate, but... Wait. Wait, what? Um... My tier rate seems to have returned to normal. Oh, I got toothpicks. I got toothpicks. I didn't even notice. I was like, wait a minute. My, my tier is back to what it was before. No, I just got toothpicks. So at least I don't have to be as depressed about my tier rate anymore. Still depressed. Just not as depressed. God damn it. Hitting enemies like this. You can't diagonal shoot with this bloody thing. Very annoying. Disrespectful. Just let Demon Baby do it. There you go. Okay, these guys do full heart damage. Let's be aware. Good. Whew. Stop it with these enemies, please. They're horrible. They just cause misery. So much misery. Oh my lord. I bobbed and weaved through everything there. Okay. Full mapping's good. I wouldn't say it's what we needed, but it is good. Full mapping should help at least. Right, let's make our way down this way. God damn. The pain that I feel within my soul at this time is large. It is heckin' large.
I don't know how to deal with these enemies at all. Is that a Don Mick there? That it is. Ooh, nice. That is... Do you know what? I'll take that. It's a broken heart for a full red heart. It's actually a decent deal. Life is treating me quite fairly now. I, I feel like it's repenting for its sins. You see? Okay, okay, okay. Things are coming together. The game seems to be completely repenting for its previous sins, which I respect. I still feel like this run is not good, but we have Goat Head and a lot of Red Hearts now, so it could get a lot better. Ow. If I stop walking on enemies creep, that would help. Oh, we got a little Brim from Cambion Conception. Okay, that definitely helps. Yeah, I could really do to stop getting hit. Pork chop. Yep. I'll be taking that, thank you. And let's go. Okay. The run is coming together. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. One minute. One minute, guys. Okay, I am back. Right. Let's go. Oh my lord, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. Okay, let's let's just be more careful. I'm not being very careful at the minute, and it's getting me into trouble. Pills I'm just gonna gobble up. I'll keep this I feel stompy because I might be able to use it. Okay, we got Curse of Rebirth here, be aware of that fact. God damn, that enemy creates so many different enemies from it. One enemy becomes a thousand. Dude, you're rebirthing as well? What the hell? Yeah, I'll, I'll do Stompy I'm in here. Stompy. I, I, I despise these fucking stupid things. Just... Get me the hell out of here now. These things need some, like, serious work. And by serious work, I mean just delete them, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Didn't realize I hit you, but okay. Yeah, I got hit a lot there. It's a familiar, I guess. It's not one that you'd want to duplicate, but it is a familiar. Teratogenesis. It's me. <sighs> right. I'm shortcutting through here. In fact, you just blew up this wall for me. Why not just go through here? Okay, that's that's good. Really should be using little brim here when I have the opportunity. Rebirth, no thank you. Oh look, another one of these dudes. Just... Just stop. Get some help. More red hearts to play with. He's gonna check out a shop and the black heart here, nice. Normal hands, okay, there's gonna be three, right? Oh no, there's four. There's four of those bad boys. One of them rebirthed as well, god damn it. I didn't consider that. Okay, we're good. Right, shop could hold some value for us here. Excuse me? Did they all just charge directly towards me? Do not like this room either, these hoppity hippers. Members access could be good. It's not always great, but it has the opportunity to be great. So I feel like it's really worth a grab. Right. Boss man. 
Honestly, Bugger Tears has been a savior for us as well. I'm just so glad we got Little Brim too. Little Brim's very good. Ah, shit. Oh my god. This is not a not a happy room. You rebirth the whole stack? Heck. Hey, fella. Right, this devil deal better be just amazing for us. More HP to trade is great. Ah, oh, it's not amazing, sadly. I do get to hit you with a bomb, though, which is nice. Damn it, that was close, but not quite. Grab that for the damage and the half black heart. Sadly, not even Lumper Coal. Didn't even respect me enough for a Lumper Coal. Hell of a Polyon's pretty good. I mean, you committed suicide at the end, but I was kind of done with you anyways, so fair play. He, he understands his value. He's like, right, peace, I'm out. If you don't need me, no one does. Bye. Right. Okay, should be three again, right? Nope, just two. Okay, secret rooms here as well. Oh, more hands, God damn it. And pins as well, apparently. Right. Crack that open. Interesting looking room here. Not quite sure why it's got a different tile set, but I'll accept it. That's something new. I don't actually know how you do this. I don't know how you make a secret room have a different tile set. I've not seen that before. Do not like this in any way, shape, or form. For Lilith, this is a really annoying room as well, because, yeah, we, we can't stand where we actually need to stand to shoot these things. I probably should have just little brimmed the, them all from, like, beyond the spikes, but too late for that now. Really? You messed up my bomb. God damn. Th this, this run is just painful. My reflection... I, why do I always place a bomb for this room? You don't need to place a bomb, you goober. My reflection's kind of a weird one. I don't really like it, but I'm taking it anyways. Also, I don't really know why I decided to release the spikes before killing the enemies, but... Story for another day, I guess. Oh my god, stop getting hit. Oh, we got a little Abaddon out of being hit so much. That's nice. I don't know how useful little Abaddon really is, though. Do you know what? Pretty useful. <laughs> Just killed like that entire room. I found pills. I found pills. Ooh, familiar's adopt a tear effects. Okay. This could be good. Right, check in here first. See what's what. <gasps> Holy light. Mm -mm -mm. I would love that. I would love that. I'm sorry, Donation Machine. You're getting blown up yet again. I realize the pain that befalls you, but it has to be done. Right, we definitely want this. All of our familiars uh, granted our tier effect, which is just amazing. But now we've got to go and get, I think it's a few more cent that we need. Do you know what? This is potential. Well, there's one. We need four more cent. Ah! God damn, the pain of this run is... Runs deep. Cuts are deep. Yeah, look. Even my little brims get my sinus infection brimstones. That's so cool. And once I get holy light in there as well, it's going to be so good. I really hope we can manage to afford it. What the hell? Spike block just rubbing up against me. Calm down. Wait. <laughs> my cane's other eye has got my reflection as well, look. 
Ah, another penny there that we can't reach, God damn it! I don't know how I've not been hit yet. What the hell's going on right now? Come on, there's only a few more rooms left. We only need a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more. I don't know if Little Abaddon's getting affected at all, but I imagine he probably is. If, it, if say, we got, like, Herming, it would affect his, uh, his ring. We only need two more cents, uh... Very achievable. Now we only need one more cent. Okay, this could be it. There you go. One more cent right there. I'll crack that open one more time. And we got a key, so one more time. We got a card. I'm sure you used the fool card to save myself some time. Right, now we can get Holy Light, which I'm at least hoping is going to be insane with all these familiars. Holy light, grab that bad boy. We should bomb some of these as well. There's quite a lot of mushrooms here. See if we can get any good pills or anything. Nope, just farts. Nothing but farts. Gat diggity damn. Right, let's go. <clears throat> we got, like, the best trinket on the character that it's most fitting on. It's all sorts of good. Despite Lilith being a trash fire, it's all sorts of good. And I'm excited for what other Devil Deal tr uh, tier effects we could end up getting. I'm trying to think of ones that I might want. Look at that. Oh, I, I I kind of find it funny that we've got my reflection as well. It can, it doesn't ruin it, but it definitely makes it harder to hit with our familiars. Which I, just, I just kind of find funny. Right. Take out all these fires real quick. That was not what I intended to do at all. Neither was that. God damn. Hit myself against everything, why don't I? Hey, <laughs> it just healed us back up. It's funny. Right. Hello, Mother Dearest. The sinus infection and holy light shots are popping off. I love the amount of charge bars we've got going on in the middle of the room here. See, this is the fun thing about Lilith. Lilith can be so entertaining. I, do you know what? Do you know what? I propose someone out there to be the absolute best person they can possibly be and do two things for me. You don't have to do them for me, but I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, for one, ooh, horse pill. Double Andreozzi. Um, I will go hard on this, by the way. Okay. Um, I, th I think that's it. That's it. That's all we get. Okay. So for one, first, first measure of 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 being the the absolute best person you can possibly be, make the um, make the what's it called car uh, trinket the the child's leash inherent to the character, either by baking it into the character or making it auto smell on on run start. Second. Take the effect of this year trinket, this year trinket, Cern Bond, and make this an inherent ability of this character. Like, I realize that that's a little bit strong. I realize. What's going on here? Um. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, I, I do realize that that might be a little bit too strong, depending on the familiars you end up getting. But. Wouldn't it make her so much more interesting and fun to play if she just if all of her um all of her familiars were granted her tier effects? How fucking cool would that be? I would love to see that. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go and propose that to um 
to a to a modder. I mean, I'm going to see if I can make that as a mod. I might I might be able to do it myself, so I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to I'm going to ask around, I'm going to shop around and try and make it because it will it will vastly vastly improve this character, I think. Because this is so much fun having all of these inherent tier effects for all my familiars. It's so cool. And it's something I hadn't really considered before. But it is, it, it, it's something that this character feels like it really should have, right? Having the ability to have all your tier effects on all your familiars seems awesome. Because you're not always going to get tier effects on your runs. And you're not always going to get good familiars. Which means it's not always going to be really powerful. Like, right now it's very powerful because we've proxed Cameo and Conception a bunch of times. Because we were playing badly. And stuff like that. But... It's not always going to be this strong. Beautiful. Another devil deal. Spirit of the Night. Flight and Spectral. Do you know what? Flight and Spectral could be quite good. I'll take it. Could be quite good. But yeah, what I'm going to go do after this video, after I've finished recording this video, is one, I'm going to go and download a mod that makes makes some character inherently start with and gulp a trinket and see if I can use that code to adapt it to work with Child Leash. And then I'm going to go and take a look at the code of the Sun Bond trinket that I'm using right now and see if I can, with permission of course, um, repurpose it to be an inherent ability of the character. Because while I could just make it so she starts with the trinket already gulped, that would mean that you'd have to have the Cursed Collection mod um, downloaded, which, while I think most people should have it downloaded, because it's, it's just an incredibly fantastic mod, um, it's not... You don't want that as a, as a prerequisite. You don't want to have... Uh, a character tweak, uh, a, a, a vanilla character tweak, inherently need an item pack. That was that's kind of weird. <laughs> so I'll uh, I'll see about adapting the code with Prayan's uh, Prayan's advice. I'm I'm hoping if if Prayan is okay with it, that actually like help me to just do this. That'd be awesome. It might already be done by the time you're watching this video. If 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 all went well, we'll see, won't we? Not liking these dudes at all. I think I killed one of them there. I'm not actually sure. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I did. Oh, we got flight now, haven't we? Oh god. Didn't quite realise how much health I'd left myself with. It's not much. I'll tell you that, it's not much. Oh my god, I love that. Right. Aren't we supposed to do Hush this run as well? As much as I don't want to, and as much as I might die, we've already lost the streak. I don't give a damn. I really hope we get a charge, though. I'm going to be really depressed if we don't get a charge here, so... Go in here first. Oof, no charge. Just... Uh, that wouldn't even work for us anyways. Mm. Right, let's go and check out the other stuff first. It's another tier effect. I think we have to take it. And that's another familiar, so I guess we have to take it. I'm, I'm intrigued by this uh, prism item. I think I'll take it. Probably should grab that too. In fact, let's just go and bomb the reroll machine down here and see if we can get anything good out of that. Yeah, that's what, that's all I was hoping for, really. A single penny. Now, do I buy a key to open the chests and or the soul heart? But I'm gonna go for the key. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. More keys. Hey, the chain reaction's starting. We got burn hurting juice. And we're able to open everything. And we got a full heart anyways. You see, it all works out. 
It all works out. I'm really sad we didn't get a charge, because now we're, we're uh, a bit familiarless. I mean, I suppose I could try and go for the uh, crawl space here. I got it. I even got a zealot heart as well. Nice. Ooh. Hello. Well, definitely going to take you. As much as this is a dumb idea, I'm going to grab this just to charge up for the boss fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Let's go. I might die here just because I've given away a lot of HP. But, whoa! Whoa! What the fuck's going on? The fuck? <laughs> the prison thing. Apparently the prism works with Bugatiers infinitely. So that's fun. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a mild bit broken. That's a mild bit broken right there. If it works with this dude as well, then we're off to the races, aren't we? There's some crazy shit right here. There's some crazy shit right here. That's a lot of tears coming at me. What the hell happened there? I'm really hoping we get another battery drop and can double these guys up again. Yes! I need to, like, get my, get my, uh, little Abaddon's, like, sat right on top of him. Like of the lag. I didn't expect it to be quite so laggy. Whoa, look at the tears. <laughs> look at him go. This is nuts. What have I created here? I love the line of charge bars. It's so satisfying. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is the coolest. How did this run go from being such utter trash to one of the coolest runs I've had in a while? Look at these tears. What the fuck's going on with them? I'm just standing still and hoping for the best here, I'll be honest. I'm trying to keep my zealot heart alive. I just want to say, I'm trying to keep my zealot heart alive, but there is no chance of staying alive for this whole fight. What the hell's happening here? What's all this about? Oh my lord, the noise that is... What the flippity heck is going on right now? The thing is, we've actually lost quite a lot of health here, um, and we we were not that far through the fight yet. <laughs> we have quite a lot of the fight to go. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I am somewhat worried that we might die. Like, we've got a lot of defensive stuff going on, but, like, no red hearts have dropped from old bandage or anything, so... That doesn't bird well for us. I also can't really tell what's my tears and what's his because we've got continuum tears going on. It's very confusing. The prison. <laughs> the prison thing's hilarious. My little brims are kind of in a weird position here. Well, I think they're hitting him, but I can't quite tell. I don't know what attack this guy's doing right now. Are these continuum shots mine or his? We'll never know. There's definitely some of his in there. But who who knows if I could ever see them. I think these are his above me now, which but does not bode well because they're coming right for me. Ah, ah, ah. I think I dodged them. Oh my god. Well, there you go. That's Hush. 
quite glad that I went for Hush here in this situation. Ended up being quite good for us, didn't it really? Uh, we're going for the lamb. God, diggity damn. Some sauce has unfolded upon this run. I feel like such a lowly little baby with my only a few familiars. <gasps> Ghost baby, get that guy in the mix. Hell yeah. Ooh. You see, it was worth it because it got one of my items, Astral Projection. Astral Projection is pretty good. Oh god, oh god, yeah, I was about to say, this room is bad for us. Look at this, it's, oh, it's, it's just precious. We might, we, we will almost definitely die on this run, just be aware of that. But that does not take away from how cool this run has been. These laser dudes, they always get me. I love the continuum with this. It's crazy. Absolutely mental. Look at that. Oh, whoa. How did I not get hit there? I keep forgetting I've got flight. I need to use flight here. Keep myself alive. The prism thing is crazy. What the fuck? It just insta-kills anything. If someone spawns one of those prison things, it just covers the entire screen. It's great. Like, that's a prison boss look. I don't know why they don't deal damage, though. They don't seem to be able to deal damage when the prison thing happens. Because the T is all over the screen, and he isn't dying anywhere near as quick as he should be, considering. Look at it! <laughs> oh, the majesty of this run. I got hit. That's not good. My next hit will be negated, which is nice, but still, that's not good. I can't see what's happening. Okay, so we're almost definitely dead, unless we get, like, some bonkers items here. We need, like, an Abaddon drop here. The nail. Sadly, none of... Ooh, wait. Judas's Shadow. Now, question. If I take Judas's Shadow here... Do I lose my box of friends? I'm gonna go ahead and hope no. I did not, good. Now, this gives us the best chance plausible here. Yeah, that was bound to happen, wasn't it? Unfortunately, almost certain we're about to die, but... Unless we get, like, a black heart from one of these two rooms here. Which I think is highly unlikely. I don't even know what enemies I have in this room. I have a gish. I think I've just got double gishes. Which I managed to kill one of them relatively easily. This guy jumped and I didn't even realise. Fuck. Give me a black heart. Give me a red heart. That's close. This is another one where we might die pretty quickly here because I can get telefragged. I can try my hecking best to avoid it, but it's pretty tough to avoid. I'll be honest. Where is he? Over here, I can't. Okay, we made it through the room. We Now we've just got to not get hit against the lamb, which I feel is pretty tough. If we had one more HP, I feel we could do this. But with, with only one hit available to us, there's so much that can go wrong on this boss. Just because he's got these brimstone attacks that I can't predict. He's got that attack, which I can't predict. 
But we did it anyways, despite despite my uh, my my mindset, we did it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was just incredible. <laughs> and now I'll see you guys in the next one.